Hi. Well, um, last night's wind turned into a very, very, very bad windstorm. And it's calmed down quite a bit now, though you can see the trees going all over the place. It's calmed down quite a bit. One thing that, um, looking at the records and checking the websites for each area, um, that I understood that this was supposed to be about 10 degrees warmer than New Mexico and that it was supposed to be a little bit milder weather. Well, it didn't get past 40 today, and now it's a lot lower. And it's been a wintry mix all day. As you can see, it's snowing outside. Look at the top of my tent. It's got snow on it. <laughs> um, wonderful tie-down job. i got to say, wonderful tie-down job, because the wind last night was so scary. I can't even begin to say how scary it was. It shook and jerked the trailer like no other wind did. It's the worst windstorm that I've seen, except for one in New Mexico that was worse wind than Hurricane Rita had. Um, and the rain of that storm blew um, parallel to the ground. So you can see it's quite a snowstorm. You can see somebody's trash can blew behind my solar panels and I'm very grateful my solar panels are okay. They were heavily staked into the ground. The wires are secured behind the panels and all that, you know, because I knew that wind could be a problem. And that little bucket blew across the yard. My trailer shook and shook. I had to take the plants down because they were starting to fall down. And I had to take the spice um, jars off so they wouldn't fall off the shelf and you know I would start to go to sleep and get really really tired and then I would just it would just start shaking like kind of I've been through like a seven point something earthquake and it was like that <laughs> literally when they say that an RV withstands earthquake conditions every day it does and it shakes a lot worse like a tiny home or an RV home it's going to shake worse than um, a regular stick belt home. I did talk to somebody who's in a stick belt home and they, they thought that the winds were pretty uh, scary too. So it wasn't just the fact that, well, I live in a trailer, it's scary. It's like, it was scary winds. And look, it's snowing pretty good out there, blowing around. Blowing wintry mix. Um, I do have to say my Williams heater is keeping things very warm. And matter of fact, I better close this or I'm going to have a heat wave up there. It's going to be bad. So, um, I do like the fact, I do have to say, even though this is not weather I really want inside, um, one of the advantages of living in a tiny home or an RV, um, you notice how when you see pictures of these people and pictures of their RV and them looking out the window, how it always looks like so beautiful. And if you're in any kind of a natural yard or setting, all the windows, all that, is going to bring in the outside. So if you're sitting on your couch, you have the outside in here. It's like, yes, you have a sheet of glass, but basically you have the experience of communing with nature. You're right there with nature. So everything that happens, uh, wind, rain, sunset, sunny days, anything is in the house with you. It's You're right there with it. So it's like you have more of a sense of being with nature, being in nature. And that is really wonderful. It's really uplifting. It's really great. And I would say that's one of the advantages of living like this. But then on a day like this, it kind of gets you more. The wind gets you more. You feel it more. So I was hoping for that this area was going to be a little bit better weather than New Mexico. Not the same or as bad. <laughs> um, but I didn't get that. But at least, you know, I've started out and it's warm in here and pretty cozy except for, you know, the bad, bad wind storms. And uh, if you like, subscribe, comment, share, and have a great afternoon.